G'day everyone, today we are out here on private property and I'm not going to tell you where it is because I have been bought here by a friend of mine who I will introduce shortly but we are chasing redfin, there's me and Holly and over here we have got Dinger from Murray Crab Fishing How you going guys? And here we've got, is it Alex? Yeah. And Noah is over there getting a head start on us and we are just going to see if we can catch some redfin in this dam what a magnificent day and I haven't got my hat on backwards to look cool I've got it on backwards because if I have it on that way you just can't see me <laughs> Dirty, you hold my rod. Hey, can't, I'll hold it. I'll cast it out. No, because if you want me to cast your rod first, then once I've cast it out, you've got to reel it in. So come down here because you want to start reeling it in pretty quick. You ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Reel it, in. reel it in. Yeah. You don't need to reel it in too fast. Just hold your rod tip down and reel it in nice and slowly. What's that, darling? Are you right? Are you snagged? Got one. You've got one. She has two. Got two. <laughs> 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 Hang on, Holly. I've knocked me out off. Ah, <laughs> oh, Holly, you are a legend. I'll have a look and I'll, I'll have a guess for you, okay? That was the first one that I got in the room. Well done, Holly. Look at this. Do you want to touch him? No. You don't want to touch him? No. Will you let me get you in the camera? Rightio, there's five of us fishing here today. And Holly has caught the first fish all by herself, casting it out while I was standing way down there. Caught on a twin bladed FTL bladed spinner. Holly, you're a superstar. Do you want to touch him? No. <laughs> right here, Holly, what do you reckon? About 17 or 18 centimetres? Yeah. Okay, we'll put him back. Yeah. There he goes, look at that. Well done, sweetie, I'm super proud of you. Now, it's not illegal to release redfin into waters in Victoria. It's not illegal to release them into the water where you caught them, but it is illegal to take them and put them somewhere else. A lot of people say that they're invasive and they're going to cause all kinds of raucous but me and Dinger down there from Murray Crab Fishing were just saying when this dam overflows it goes out that corner and down into a creek and then down into a big river full of Murray Cod and this overflows every few years and the redfin don't go anywhere. They either go out on and get eaten or they don't leave but either way they've never established a population downstream. But we know they're still here because you caught one. Yeah. See if you can catch me another one. I'm very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> what sort of fish is that one, Holly? A weed, a weed fin. <laughs> Ew, so That's what they make ice cream out of. That sort of weed. Didn't you know that? Ice cream's made out of seaweed. It is. It some, is. Some is. Yeah, some is, see? You show me what's in there, Holly. Uh, I don't know. Now, what's muscle. that? What is it, Noah? A live mussel. Is that the live mussel inside the mussel? Yeah, that's his shell. I wonder it why he's got stinks. it open. Maybe he's, it stinks, does he? Yes. Maybe he's waiting for something yummy to walk past. What do mussels eat? Oh, uh, I think they eat plants. Like oh, plants okay. In the water. Maybe they stinks. maybe they eat the algae off the bottom. I don't know. Like this? <laughs> maybe you nearly fell over. You nearly slipped in duck poo. Duck poo. You do realise that's duck poo that you're walking around in, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> what a good one. Oh, well, yeah, Dinger's got one over the other side of the lake here. That's number two for the day. Holly, you're not, you're not the only one to catch one now. Dinger just caught a big one. Well done. <laughs> 
the older I get, the easier it is just to sit here in the sun and watch your kids have fun. <laughs> Daddy, the only thing is I don't have See? a towel, which is, doesn't matter, and I'll get the seat wet. I don't care if you get the seat wet. The only thing is if you get your long pants wet, you're going to stay wet walking back to the car. You won't be able to put any dry clothes on. I don't.